going on everybody? How we doing today? Today I am going to show you guys my entire collection of robot vacuums. I think I probably have the biggest collection ever. The only one I think that might be able to beat me is Vacuum Wars. I know they have a ton of robot vacuums too. I don't know if it's this many or not. So in front of you, you have 49 of the robot vacuums, but I have more upstairs as well. I will show you those after we go through all of these. Now, if you want to see anything on any of these robot vacuums, just let me know down in the comments, and I will try to answer that question and or do that test for you. You guys could do me a huge favor before we get through this video. Uh, like this video and subscribe, because I have videos on all of these robots. I can do head-to-head -head challenges for you. I can do crazy tests for you. We could do robot wars where they fight each other and they eliminate each other in some sort of way. I could rig up a gigantic, giant robot knife fight. I mean, you name it. We could have a lot of fun with these robot vacuums. So let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see on any of these or what I could do in your mind on all of these. So we're just going to kind of go through... I'm going to see if I can even name them all because there's so many here. Um, if I don't know the name, I'll try to edit it in later. But it's a ton of robot vacuums. And then I want to show you how I have to store them all. That's a lot of space it takes up and a lot of work to keep all these guys here and all these guys charged for when I do a test for you guys. All right, let's get down from this ladder and I will start in the front. And we'll kind of go through, and I will try my best to tell you what the model is. All right, starting all the way up here. Like, these specific ones, like this brand name is Tham2. I think it's G11 for the model number. If I get the model number wrong, I can correct it later if you guys really want me to. But I'll just tell you mainly the brand name right off the bat. So this Tham2 is just a random navigation, very cheap. Robot, it actually does a pretty good job overall for hard floors and small areas. If you want this for a larger floor plan, it's definitely a thumbs down, but a small apartment on a budget, it's actually not bad. Same with this one. This one is an iLife. Basically the same exact thing as the, all the one next to it. Good for small spaces, not good for larger. Now this is, some of these also, by the way, or... Some of these are self-empty robots. And I'll show you the self-emptying bins here in a minute, along with all the boxes and so on and so forth. So a lot of these LiDAR robots that you see, some of them are good. There's only a couple that are bad. Most LiDAR-based robots are going to do a pretty good job cleaning. So this one is Larisar. Uh, this one does have a self-empty bin as well. Um, I'd say it's good overall. It's just as good as any of the other budget-friendly self-empty bin robot vacuums. Here is the Dream Tech L10. Once again, that's another great robot vacuum. It's going to map your house, go around and just do a great job with your house. You can All these LiDAR ones, you can map your house, tell it to go clean specific rooms. There's just a ton of different brands, and they all look very, very similar too, so... That one's a good one. iLife A10, uh, definitely a budget-friendly robot vacuum, and it works just as good as most of the other robots that you're seeing here. Now, personally, iLife's a decent brand. They're not the greatest by any means. A Roborock, in my opinion, is definitely going to absolutely destroy it overall. Uh, Honicher, it's another one with a self-empty bin. Once again, another great robot vacuum, does a good job cleaning. This, this one is a LaFont. I forgot the model number on this one, but once again, random navigation, does a good job in small areas. Now, Shark IQ. Most people know <laughs> these robots I do not like at all. I would honestly say this one is probably as good as these cheap iLife's over here, or the, even this Tham 2. I really do not like the Shark IQ's. As I'm tripping over 
a ton of robots. Here's an iHome. This is a very budget-friendly robot vacuum with a self-empty bin, and it actually does a really good job. These white Galongalis, these are suction port only, so they're only good for hard floors and only good for quite small spaces. Man, there's a lot of these. So this is a test for S6 Plus. Very good robot vacuum, budget friendly. I believe these are under 300 bucks and they're gonna do a great job cleaning up for you. Tac Life, it's okay. It does a good job cleaning. It's just not as good as a higher end robot like a Roborock or even this Viomi V3. Another LiDAR base does a great job cleaning. Here's another LiDAR base, this one's LaJoy. Now this is probably one of the ones out of all of these I would probably not recommend that have a LiDAR. It's just a very, very cheap build. And overall it's just not really that good. Here is my old Roborock S5. Absolutely love this thing. Still one of the best vacuums I've ever tested for a standalone vacuum. Really, really good. I believe this one's the Roborock S6 Max V. This one, it's okay. It's probably one of my least favorite Roborocks. I actually like the S5 better. I think it does a better job overall. I haven't tested that one in a while, so there could be some software updates to help it. Moving on to a Procenic M8. Once again, guys, same, same story with this, even that Yoni. They all are good robot vacuums. They're gonna do a good job. I guess it comes down to the name brand and how, how long they're actually gonna last for you. And they're all similarly priced. All right, moving on. We have a Random Navigation Pro Scenic. Once again, small room, it does a good job. Zuzi, good, a good robot vacuum with LiDAR. iLife, same thing, Random Navigation. It does a good job in small areas. Samsung. This one I do like. This one has a self-empty bin. It does really good specifically on hard floors. It does good overall on carpet, but not as good as some of the other ones. Once again, like a Roborock. Neobot Nomo Q11. Good robot vacuum. It has front-facing LiDAR, so it's similar to all the ones with the dome, but the LiDAR is just built in the front. This is a Trifo Lucy, same thing as the Neobot, has LiDAR in the front instead of on top. Does a pretty good job cleaning overall. This is the 360 S10. Once again, LiDAR in the front. Does a good job cleaning. And here I'm going to repeat myself on almost all these. Most of these do a good job cleaning. It's just going to come down to the quality of the actual robot and exactly what you're looking for. Here is the Dream D9, I believe. I don't remember exactly, but good robot vacuum. Another Shark, I forgot I had this thing. This is the Shark IQ without the self-empty bin. And I'll be honest, I think it's trash. I really hate the Sharks. But there is one Shark in this bundle that I do like, so we'll get to that in a second. There is the iRobot J7 Plus. Really good robot vacuum has the camera built in. It is the only and best robot vacuum that I personally test that will actually avoid dog poop and do a great job avoiding cables and shoes and stuff like that as well. Got the Neato D3. Does a great job. For an older robot vacuum, it still cleans really good. I did a test down in this testing room and it actually got the second highest score out of everything except for the S9 Plus by iRobot. All right, these two, TCL and DBot, random navigation, same story. Good in small areas, not good for large floor plans. This is a Trifo Lucy, pretty much the same thing, but this is the pet version, so it has more suction and it comes with another attachment for pet hair. Now back to the shark. You know I hate those two. This one is actually pretty good overall. It does have a self-empty bin as well. This is the Shark AI, the newest version. 
and it's actually a pretty good robot vacuum. I have no real complaints about this particular Shark IQ. I would actually recommend it. This is a, a Mary. This one has a camera on top for navigation. It, it does okay. It's definitely a budget friendly. I think I paid a hundred bucks. It does okay overall. Once again, better for the small spots. iRobot S9 Plus. Now, out of all of these robot vacuums, I think this guy definitely cleans the best out of all of them. Now, the battery life is terrible. There is no mop or anything like that. The self-empty bin is fantastic. It's always worked great. This and the S7 Plus by Roborock is my favorite two robot vacuums. If this one had a bigger battery and would last a lot longer to clean my whole floor plan, I'd probably pick this one as the best overall. But because of the terrible battery, I had to give it to the S7 Plus. All right, now we have the Neobot. What is this guy? I can't remember all these names. L8850. I think this goes to the Neobot Nomo. I don't remember exactly, but once again, good robot vacuum. Eureka Groove. Now this, I didn't like. It did a pretty poor job cleaning. Budget-friendly, random navigation. It's okay for a small house, maybe better for hard floors, but there's much better options than that one. Here is the iRobot i3 Plus. Good robot overall, definitely not as good as like the i6, 7, or 8, but a good budget-friendly robot vacuum with a self-empty bin. Here is the Eufy 25C. Out of all the random navigation robots that I've tested, paid a hundred bucks for this, and in my eyes, it is the best robot you can buy for a really small floor plan. This is the Altenec. Once again, lighter based, has a self-empty bin, good robot vacuum. Dbot T8 Plus, I believe that's this one. Good vacuum overall, not the best self-empty bin on the market. Not my favorite robot, but it does do a good job overall. This is the Roborock E4, random navigation, same as all the others. Better build quality than like the iLife and stuff, but a good one for smaller areas. iRobot 693, I believe. Even being an iRobot is just only good for small areas, but it is a very good robot vacuum. Here's the i6 Plus. Here's the i6 Plus by iRobot. Great robot vacuum, has a self-empty bin. Very, very good, I highly recommend this. Uh, this is the same exact robot as the i7 and the i8, and I couldn't be any happier with it. I've always loved this robot. This is a Wise LiDAR robot vacuum. This is a budget-friendly one as well. Does a pretty good job cleaning, but personally, I prefer spending a little bit more money and getting, once again, a Roborock or something like that. This is the Neato D8. Unfortunately, this thing has been a nightmare. I, it never did do a good job. It has software issues. It climbs up the wall when it backs up. It's been airing out like crazy. Do not recommend this, even though Neato does make decent Robot vacuums, I actually like the old D3 much better than this D8. Here is the Roborock. Which one we got here? S4 Max. Pretty good overall. It's not my favorite Roborock. I actually like the S5 better. But if you're in the budget, it's definitely a good option. So the Roborock E5, similar to the E4, has better suction, better mapping. It doesn't actually map, but it, it'll track the floor better. And overall, definitely better than the E4. So that is all the ones we have down here. Quite a few, if I say so myself. And now I'll show you some of the self-empty bins, where I have all the boxes then whatever other vacuums I have upstairs, and then even the vacuums I haven't even unboxed yet and reviewed. So there's 49 here. Here is my area for all the boxes, as well as some of the self-empty bins. There's just a ton of stuff you have to store to have this many. <laughs> 
Here is just a box with a ton of chargers and base stations. Coming in here, this is where I have a bunch more just chargers and stuff laying around. I gotta clean this up. There's a bunch more of the docks, self empty bins. And now I'm gonna take you upstairs where I'll show you what I haven't reviewed yet. All right, guys, we are back upstairs. Remember, there's 49 robots downstairs. There's number 50. This is a Puritic. I got this on some random pallet I bought a while back, and it's the only robot vacuum I have that is broken. So let me know in the comments how you guys would like to see me absolutely destroy this thing. I thought I was going to throw it away, but I thought it would be fun to just completely destroy it. Somehow run it over with my truck, drop something heavy on it. Uh, you name it, tell me what you want to see and I'll destroy this little turd however you guys see fit. So let me know in the comments about that. So we have the Robrock S7 Max V Ultra. So far I've only done the one video on it, but it has been fantastic. I love it so far. This is the Abode P8. I'm going to be honest, nothing but problems with it so far. This is a demo unit they sent me so it's not like you know ready for the public um i'm in communication with them hoping that they'll send me a new one that works right or if they fix the issues i really don't know that's why there hasn't been any videos on this yet here we have a dream tech w10 and this thing is also really really good if this thing had a self-empty bin for the dust it'd be a major, major competitor for that. But in my eyes, because this guy has the self-empty bin for the dust, I mean, it's, it's, it's really good, guys. So let's keep looking at what we got in here. So that's 52. Sorry, just keeping track because I actually don't know how many I have total. Roborock S7 Plus. Amazing robot. Um, before I got the... Max V Ultra, this was my number one robot. Now with the other stuff that the Ultra offers, I'd have to say, from the testing I've done so far, it's probably, almost for sure, my favorite robot vacuum out there, period. But I still have a lot more tests to do on it, and they're still coming out with updates weekly. So yeah, Roborock is really, really putting out a major effort to be the best in the market, and I honestly think they're doing it. Let's see what else I have. We're at, what, 53, I think? No, 54. I have robots everywhere, guys. Let's go in here. <laughs> Let's see. We have a Yeedy. This is a smart robot with a self-empty bin. We have the Dream Tech uh, Z10 Pro. Good robot vacuum as well iRobot i1 plus with the self empty banner these ones i haven't even obviously taken out of the box so we're at 57 is that all that's in here <laughs> now we go out to my garage and we have quite a few out here we have a Neobot Nomo, that one I still have to test, haven't got, well, all these I haven't got to at all. I have a Dream Tech W10. They sent me a replacement because there's a small issue with that one, so hopefully when I get to this, it fixes that issue. Um, let's see. Not exactly the robot vacuum, but this is the ShineBot W400. I'm gonna have a comparison video between this and the W450 pretty soon. What is in this big box? <laughs> what is this thing? Dream Tech W10. Okay, never mind. This is the W10. And then this is the Z10. Not sure why I have two of those, <laughs> but I do. Uh, a couple more Yeedies. This is the Yeedy. 
Yidivac DVX34. Got two of those. Uh, let's see. Another one in here. This is a duplicate. This is the T Sale Sriva 2000. And then I believe this is another robot vacuum. And I think this one is too, actually. Eh, let's find out. I honestly don't even remember what I have, guys. All right, this is another robot. This is the Roid Me Eve Plus. That one I will be... There's the Narwhal still. I am going to be selling that Narwhal. Just because, honestly, the W10 and especially the S7 Max V Ultra is just... Honestly, it's much better. We have all of those. Oh my god. Here's another one. Some of these I forgot I had, guys. Man, I might have like 60 robots. This is a Xperobot. Just a cheap... Random navigation. Once again, good for a very small home, but that's about it. Okay, I have more robots than I thought. Here's another one, model C100. I honestly don't even remember what it is, so we'll leave that as a surprise. I will be reviewing it eventually when I get through all this other stuff, because I'm massively, massively backlogged on stuff to review. Sigu, this one has that uh, has a light bulb below that kills germs. I still haven't got to that. Oh, found another. Almost forgot this guy. This will be reviewed very, very soon, and hopefully, it's a good robot vacuum. And that is surprisingly well, I want to say surprisingly, that is all that I have here at my house. Believe it or not, I do have more at my warehouse, which is where I get all these shipped. I, th I know I have, I have three more at the warehouse. Those will all be reviewed soon too. So whatever you just seen, all of these, plus three more, maybe four, I think three though. So I'll add that up and add that in the count for this final verdict of how many robot vacuums I do own. But I'm actually surprised at how many I have. I forgot about a lot of them. And uh, yeah, I got to have at least 60, so. If anybody you know, or Vacuum Wars, if you happen to watch this, let me know how many you have. I'm curious if I have more than you. Not that it matters, but just curious if you do. Um, I know you do pump out these big videos like this. So, All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. What do you think? Is my collection big enough for some of you? <laughs> it's really kind of overwhelming, to be completely honest. But I thought about selling a bunch of them, but then I thought, you know what? This channel's mainly robot vacuums, so why not keep them? That way I can still do cool videos where I do a whole bunch of them at once. Maybe I can come up with some absolutely ridiculous challenge for all of them. If you guys think of something, put it down in the comments for me. Once again, remember, I want to absolutely destroy this one. So let me know in the comments how you want to see that thing get absolutely destroyed. Do me a huge favor, guys. Like this video and subscribe. Like to see if I can get this video really popular. And uh, once again, leave comments below if there's anything you want to see on any of these. If you want specific head-to-head -head challenges. Or if you can tell me a really cool idea that I can do with all 60 of these. If not more than that, I don't remember. I have to put it in the edit. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was kind of fun going through them all. I have more than I even realized. And let me know what you think of this collection. You guys all have an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.